We responded to 2,000 block of Harrison Avenue on uh, the burglary alarm uh, at Montana Buds on our arrival. The uh, window was broken out of the front of, of the uh, establishment. Also, there was a witness in the area uh, gave us a description of the vehicle. One of our officers had seen that vehicle leaving the area uh, when we were responding to Montana Buds. Another officer stopped that vehicle on the corner of George and Thomas Streets, which is uh, in the area of Burglary. In the vehicle, we located uh, several different, uh, through a search warrant, we located several different types of marijuana products, uh, such as sprays, uh, brownies, and some, uh, usually some sort of honey. Uh, these are all stolen from uh, the shop. male adults and a male juvenile. Both uh, for the billings and the Bozeman area. How um, do we have the names of the adults by any chance? Yeah. Know? If you already let me look at uh, there's a Damien Duffy. Damien? Duffy, he's out of the Bozeman area. And how old is he? Damien is 21. Okay. Dustin Phillips. Dustin Phillips with one L or two? Two L's. Okay. He is 32 and he's out of the village area. And then a minor. How old was the minor? The minor is 17. And it he was is a, out of village. And a boy as well. A man? A male, yes. So, okay. okay. When our, um, the officers responded to the call, did they just automatically pull over? Was there any... You know, we had a description of the vehicle and license plate from the witness. Uh, uh, it was a good description of the vehicle, as did the officer was riding. So we were able to pull the vehicle over a short time later. And, what kind of vehicle was it? Yeah. It was a red Dodge, I believe, uh, 49 dash plates. And did they respond, like pull over? We pulled them over. We did a, a stop. What are all the charges? Uh, there is a, there's a burglary charge. Uh, each one of them is facing burglary charge and each one is facing charge of additional dangerous drugs. And that was for having the marijuana? That's for having the marijuana for this film, yes. Um, and so it's believed that everything was recomped because it was happened so fast. Like that they, the store is going to be getting all of their We items believe we recovered it, uh, all the items. Um, do you think, are these types, I mean, probably not, but having these types of, like, stores, you know, these marijuana pot shops in, in town, um, does that, do you think that that creates sometimes these kind of problems for people to, like... Well, if you did have marijuana, marijuana shops, the marijuana shops would be burglarized. Yeah. But, uh, no, we, we have probably three or four a year that do get burglarized, do get broken into. Um, in this county? Pardon me? In this county? In this county. The storefronts and stuff will be broken into or whatever, but uh, it's just a, it's, it's the nature of the business, basically. But it doesn't create any bigger danger of any, for anybody else, but it does. They are out there. So. All inventory was recovered? All inventory that, that, we, that we believe was recovered. Right. It happened at 12 p.m. Two in the morning. Two in the morning. What day? Uh, this morning. Oh, just today. Okay. That's Anything like a statement you'd want to say about the crime? I, I think our officer's quick response and the witness gave us great information along with our officer's quick response and the reason it was solved.